What's up guys, Spin Firearms here and I often get asked about used firearms, also law enforcement trade-ins. And what I always tell people is yes, take advantage of them. A lot of firearms that are basically being sold um, back to these stores or wherever you're picking up a used firearm weren't used. They were basically purchases that were their wife said, hey, you, need to, you have way too many firearms, you need to bring that back. Or they took it to the range, put one box of ammo through it and realized they don't like it. Um, that's with a lot of used firearms, so you can always get a great value. Obviously, you want to make sure that the firearm is in good working conditions, and a lot of places like Bud's Gun Shop and stuff like that will make sure that it's in good condition. Now, even certain things like Glocks, you can swap out parts on Glocks so easily and for so cheap. Literally, if you can find a Glock for 400 get it. Now, what I usually go for is the backup firearms of law enforcement. So if it's a law enforcement trade-in, getting a Glock 27 or a Glock 26, because those firearms are shot the least, barely have any use to them, and tend to be kept in pretty good condition, whereas their main firearm, they train with it more and so on. So yes, used firearms can be a great deal. I got this right here for under $300, and what I realized is everyone's like, oh, it's in 40, and 40 is pointless. Guys, um, companies like KKM make, um, what do you call it, conversion barrels. So you can put 9mm in this, you can put 357 SIG, and still an awesome, reliable setup that handles recoil amazingly. This right here is still in 40, it shoots well, it's been 100% reliable, and out of all the used firearms I've purchased, never a single issue. So yes, you should always take advantage of used firearm sales, as well as laws, law enforcement trade-ins. Now as far as marks like this go, that doesn't matter. That this, None of this stuff impacts the actual function of the firearm. Um, dings, dents, scratches, none of that really matters. It's more about the internals and you can always ask them to just check out the internals there but like I said Glocks are the way to go um, for law enforcement trade-ins and stuff like that because it's so easy. Let's say you know the slide stop spring is wearing out. You know it's an eight dollar you know replacement or the strikers are gone. That's a forty dollar replacement or you know it's just gunked up and you just rather have something brand new in there. It's so cheap to replace parts in a Glock. It's not even funny so don't don't look at a used firearm as something bad because a lot of times at the range, you'll go there, it's a used firearm, it's $150, $100 cheaper, and it doesn't have a single thing on it. You're like, what in the world? Why would this person just buy it and sell it back? You never know the reason for it, but one man's trash is another man's treasure, and used firearms tend to be it.